And as groups battle those new teaching standards in Florida, tonight some local groups are on a mission to ensure the impact of black musicians in Tampa is never forgotten. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell was at that event tonight, spotlighting living Tampa music legends and spoke with a local historian about the importance of these conversations. Learning's always a little more fun if you can do it with a beat. At a packed house Friday evening, it was all about enjoying music and acknowledging its connection to black history. Music is part of our DNA. That was a way of communicating. That was a way of giving life to their soul when there was so much despair all around them. And this event looked into Tampa's place in black music history. Tampa was the Mecca. Tampa was the Harlem of the South. Right here is where Ray Charles made his very first record, and we're paying tribute to him and many other musicians who came this way here tonight. And that included a panel of longtime Tampa musicians who provided firsthand accounts of music superstars they worked alongside right here in the city. The discussion also highlighted struggles traveling musicians had to overcome, like depending on the kindness of strangers when hotels wouldn't accept black guests. And you went home with those people you didn't know and stayed with them. With a live performance and a video montage of famous musicians and their connections to Tampa, historians say spotlighting this history in an area that was once a vibrant music scene helps keep these stories alive. It reminds us of who we are and the strength we have as a people. And not only that, but we know that black history is American history. In Tampa, Miranda Parnell, Tim Tampa Bay. And the Tampa Bay History Center will be hosting more events like this. Tonight's topic was music, but on October, they will focus on historically black neighborhoods in Tampa.